This AP with AP T Production. I'm here with Mirror Trips. What's going on, gang? Hey, what's good, man? What's happening, man? How you feeling today? What's the vibes? Shit, I've been cool all day and shit. Regular right shit. Chilling. I've been kicking, yeah, kicking shit. For real, for real. I know, I've been recording this shit. For real, for real. Okay, what, what's been going on with you lately? Shit, I got. I just dropped two projects. I dropped two projects. Okay. More money for everybody one, and more money for everybody two. Okay. Uh, it was just crazy, like on all platforms. Apple Music, SoundCloud, everything. Shit on all platforms. And you recently dropped those? Yeah, I recently dropped them. Okay, you dropped them back to back? Yeah, I dropped them back to back, like okay. within two years, within the span of two years. Like okay, last okay. year I dropped two, and this year I dropped one. You dropped one, okay. So it's three, it's three volumes. One, three two, volumes. Three. Yeah. It was, like, what was like the uh, idea behind putting them together? Like, you know how Meek Mills got Flamers 1, 2, and 3? Yeah. And shit like that. Like, Dream Chasers 1, 2, and 3. On some shit like that. I don't know. I just always, I was like, fuck it. I'm going to do volume. I'm going to put them shits in the volumes. Yeah. I did fucking More Money Forever 1, More Money 2, More Money Volume 3. Feel me? All them shits in a row. And out of, like, those three, like, which one your favorite? 1, 2, or 3? I fuck with 2 the most. 2, two the most? 2 got yeah. my favorite songs. Okay. Like, Farewell. If y'all, if I ever look at 2, make sure y'all go fuck with Farewell. Head high and um yeah farewell head high and the intro the intro the bottom shit fire and let the people know where you from by the way I'm originally from Philly but okay. I grew up in Burlington County New Jersey okay and we're in Burlington Willenboro Willenboro okay yeah. so what was like most of your childhood like where you spent most of your childhood uh, Willenboro or Philly I've been back and forth, like my grandma, my mom, my grandma lived in Warnburg type shit. So that's how I was. Like I've been back and forth my whole life. Like so I experienced the best of both worlds type shit. And okay. everybody said that shit. And so you what year did you go to move to Willenburg? Like, how old was you? Probably I was like nine years old. Okay, so you okay. said like most of your life you spent in Willenburg. Yeah, yeah, okay. most yeah, most of my life. Most of your life. So I've been back and forth, like I'll be like like I've been like six like probably from fourth through fucking Seventh middle school, I was like back and forth. Like I stayed with my grandma for two years, then I'll be back with my mom for two, three years. Okay. So I've been back and forth. Then I finished out high school out here. So in like, Okay. Yeah. And like, what's the vibes like? What's the vibes in Woolenboro? I mean, that shit, that shit, a chill place. It's a fun place. I ain't gonna lie. It was like to grow up there it was lit because it was like everybody from different parts. Like everybody was from the city that was there. Yeah. Like, it'd be people from New York. Philly, Camden, all in one spot, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Everybody was from everywhere. Like, nobody was really from Lumber. So, like, all of us came. Like, we was like, oh shit, where you from? Dude, we, we fucking with each other and shit. Yeah. Shit was a good vibe, a good place to grow up at, I ain't gonna lie. And, and it, is it split into, like, different sections? Yeah, it's split okay. into, like, fucking 12 sections. 12 it's small as hell. Like, you got, like, Pack, Buck, Garfield, East Garfield, North, you feel me? Shit like that. It's, like, in different places. Like, but the whole Burlington County as a whole is like Mount Holly, Willingboro, Mount mm -hmm. Laurel, Pemberton, Burlington City, Burlington Township, all that shit is like the whole county. Yeah. So like niggas will be throughout the whole county, going everywhere through the county. Like. So you feel like, like so basically everybody within Burlington County kind of know each other, not yeah. just like Willingboro? No, it's just, not like okay. niggas going to stay in Willingboro, fuck with Willingboro. Like, yeah. Niggas just fucking with everybody, you feel me? Yeah. Niggas know everybody, you feel me? And how y'all all was like meeting? Parties and shit. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. Parties. Yeah. Niggas that had parties and shit. Me, I was really meeting everybody because I started kicking off with the rap shit like 10th, 11th grade. Okay. So me, I was just, they were dick in, like dick yeah. rock. <laughs> Once I started snapping, everybody yeah. from everywhere just knew me. So, like, I was just fucking with people. Like, some people were real genuine. Like, when I came up, like, when I really started buzzing, like, niggas was like, oh, you really that? Like, you really one of them? You the first person from here to really put yeah. spotlight on the city. Like, yeah. And I was fucking with that. Like, I was really taking the torch with that. Like, I was, I mean, I could have been on some weird shit. Like, nigga, I only rap Philly. I don't really yeah. from Philly. Like, I got day ones and real homies like that, really from out there. You know? Philly, yeah. So, but I was like, you feel me? Fuck that. Like, these, they showed me the most love. They helped me go up. Yeah. Like, I went up, like, fucking with them. Yeah. Then I performed at my first show. I did my first show in Philly at Onyx. I was only like 17. 17, okay. That's how much yeah. pop I had. Shit was crazy. Like, wasn't even put to be in the club. <laughs> I remember, like, the Onyx days, like, when it was back, like, popping. Yeah, that shit was yeah. popping. I opened up for Young Thug. I met D Lo Shuffle. Okay, okay, that's that's, that's hard. Yeah, yeah that's hard. Because he was going up at that time. You said you were seventeen. Yeah, I was seventeen. So like being seventeen, like how was it like to for you to take like you know all, all the support, the shows, and you know just I being mean, seventeen and being lit. That shit was lit. It was lit, but only fucked up part was like it was lit, but only fucked up part was I 
ain't gonna lie, like I was going through mad shit, but I had a buzz. I had a, I had clout. Like, yeah. I was really in real life. I really was going through shit. Like I ain't had nowhere to live. Like I was living with bro, living with different bro and them. I was yeah. staying with bro and them in different places. Like I ain't had nowhere to live for. Her. But I was clouded, so people were fucking with me. Like people would let me stay with them. Like I was clouded. I really was home, so they'd be like, yeah. "Nah, man, you good, bro? You don't got it. You feel me?" Yeah. My grandma kicked me out and shit for trapping all her crib and shit. You feel yeah. me? I was drunk. <laughs> I was, Oh, some dumbass shit, you feel me? Yeah. Got kicked out. She's like, get the fuck out. We ain't doing that in my house. I, I respect grandma and shit. I'm like, all right, yeah. I'm taking my shit. I'm out. I ain't coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Where you end up going? Like, that was from Philly or from Willenboro? That was in Willenboro. My girl was living with my grandma. Okay. Yeah. And after so, that, like, you just that, was on your own? Yeah, I was on my own. I was trying and shit. Like, I'd go out Philly, stay with growing up for like five days, or I'd come back out here. Rest in peace, my little girl, Ed. He took me in and shit. His parents used to treat me yeah. like family. Like he died and shit in 2016 and shit. Okay, when were your relationship like, like with him? I see like you yeah. mentioned in a few songs. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I put on for bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, our relationship was real deep. Like, we really was locked in. Like, I was like my little brother. Like, yeah. no cap. I ain't never have a little brother. Like, I got an older blood brother, but like, it was my little brother. Like, no cap. Like, yeah. like I fucked with him so heavy. Like, Bro, bro used to like, I ain't gonna lie, bro, mom and them used to go shopping for her niggas to get me shit, like, yeah. that shit, that's how close we were. Showing mad you know, love, shit, yeah. Showing how to love, like, feel me? So, like, when I got kicked out her career, I would go to his career and type shit. And I got locked up and then I got kicked out because me and my grandpa got into it and shit. Yeah. He like, get the fuck out. He tried to grip me the fuck up. I said, yo, what the fuck? I gripped him the fuck up. Yeah, my grandpa? Yeah, my grandpa, yeah, my grandpa was on some shit. He gripped me the fuck up. He said, yo, what the fuck out? He said, let's see him fuck my grandma. I'm like, so I'm not gripping the fuck <laughs> You grip your grandfather up. Yeah, but he put my, he put my, <laughs> my, no, my grandpa was strong as hell. He yeah. put my little ass in the car. He said, it's not fucking playing with me. Like, so I'm like, you know, I'm talking shit. Like, look at the fuck off me. Get yeah. the fuck off me. You feel me? Cops pull up. My grandma done called the cops. She dropped him. I grabbed him. She done called the cops. <laughs> cop get out the car. He grabbed me. I'm already teed. I said, I, I punch on the cop. Boom. The cop throw me into the garage. Boom. My shirt all ripped off. I'm in the hole as hell with a half a shirt. Mad as hell. Bitch. Mad as hell, bro. On everything on Evan, bro. This shit, all this shit happened in one night. Yeah. So I go to Ed Crib. You know, Ed mom picked me up. Miss Shantay, she picked me up from the hole as hell. I go to Ed Crib. This nigga, I come in his crib with a half a shirt. This nigga laughing. You feel me? He think this shit funny as hell. He like, yo, look at Mary. He's stupid as hell. Look at this shirt. I'm half one, half shirt half on. Shirt. The cops slammed the shit out of me. He put me on my fucking <laughs> neck. That shit hurt it. So that's how I try to resist the rest of the shit. Yeah. And girl, I'm in the dirt and shit. I'm bad and shit. My shirt ripped and shit. Like, that shit was funny as hell. I ain't gonna lie. When I got out the hole and said, I go to his crib and shit. I'm like, man, I got kicked up. I'm looking at my shirt. Like, what the fuck happened? I'm like, I was, I was fighting to her, bro. That shit was crazy. Yeah. You know? Slamming on my fucking neck, but that was a crazy ass day. The rest of these is like we had a lot of moments and shit. Yeah. That was a little bro for real. Yeah, so we put on uh, for, like in the music from. Was he uh, live when he was um, starting to make music? Hell yeah, okay. he, he so, had different videos. Did he see like you like your potential, like your buzz? Yeah, like he okay. had different videos. Same okay. my shit word for word. Like he in a video, he was in videos yeah. and shit. Like we had this one song called "Don't Fuck with My Game." Me featuring TJ. You feel okay. me? Me featuring TJ and that shit. And that shit was a crazy ass song. Like that video, everybody know about that video. They know everybody was in that shit. Like even niggas I don't fuck with. Like yeah. I had ops in that video. Yeah. Like, yeah. Everything. Don't fuck with my game. That shit was a crazy ass song. Like shit went up in the county. Everybody was singing that shit. Me and TJ we walked that shit bar for bar. And then you see Evan that shit. He jumped up and down holding me. Feel me on my yeah. shoulder. Like we seen that shit word for word. Yeah. I remember that shit like it was yesterday. Like little bro, he really missed no yeah. bullshit. You gotta keep going, going, you know, making music and rapping. I got you. Yeah. That's why I didn't never stop. I want to stop. I ain't gonna lie, I've been doing this shit for too long. I've been growing this hell. You've been making music for how long now? Like, what, seven Since, years? Seven years? Yeah. You said high, high school. But I ain't gonna lie, I've been making money. I mean, I've been making music my whole entire life. Yeah. You feel me? I've been rapping since I was like seven years old. Like, okay. I never, like, I always rap. So when I started rapping, people thought it was some new shit. But, like, no, nah, I always was rapping. I just started. Trying to make that shit. I just linked up with this nigga named Jonte. He make he used to make videos on Willowbrook for everybody and shit. And I remember like my boy Mary Zay, he used to make beats. I used to record at his crib. He had he went to BCIT, some shit that was like a tech school. Yeah. So them niggas used to like make videos and make beats in school. So when he put me on with Jonte and shit, when Jonte was doing the film and shit and the editing, that nigga put me on to that nigga. He shot my first video and that's how I really started getting traction. Yeah. So when at what point in your career did you start like really getting buzz? 
I said like, what, uh, what song that you dropped? Damn. Oh, Hello Crack. Hello Crack, okay. Yeah, Hello Crack. Everybody was fucking with that. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. When you pull that, like, when you, when you drop this, when you drop this interview, make sure you put the vid up there, too. That shit be crazy. Hello Crack. And, yeah. and what, what other vid? There was another one I seen that was going crazy. You, um, was that? Chop out the park. Chop out the park, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what everybody knew me for, you feel me? That's what I'm really known for. That's what you're most known for, okay. Mm -hmm. I know, like, you known for those songs, like, oh, is, or, like, one of those songs your favorite? I don't fuck with Chop Out the Park. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a lot of artists don't like, yeah, don't they don't fuck. like their most known song. Yeah, I don't fuck with that shit. Like, I done heard that shit so many times, like, everybody just see me and just be saying that shit. Like, I don't even fuck with this song like that. I ain't gonna lie. Like, the song just was childish as hell. Like, I was yeah. childish. I ain't gonna lie. I was saying Hello Out of Park. Yeah. But that shit go though. That shit, the beat, the way it dropped, the way it, feel me? It went at that time. Niggas was fucking with that shit, right? And it looked like, like from like the videos, it looked like y'all be having fun. Like at the music videos, yeah. I used to be wild. I'm jumping up and down like my energy crazy. Yeah. I'll be wild. I ain't gonna lie. I used to be wild. And plus, when I got out that liquor, I had crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I had crazy. You was that. drunk for any of your uh your videos? All of them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. And stuff for Trap Out the Park, I just went high. I'm about to say, cause that was like during the day, yeah. Yeah, Trap Out the Park, I'm smoking gas. You can see me smoking gas. Yeah, yeah I was always high as hell. I was high, man. But all the, all the rest of my videos, I was just drunk off some Henny. Or I was drinking some fucking, I was drinking whatever for real, like, we was young niggas. Yeah. You know, young niggas, we gonna drink whatever. We drink whatever. Whatever. We drinking whatever. I'm just drinking. I ain't gonna lie. I'm eating J. We just drinking yeah. at that point, like young niggas shit. Nowadays, a lot of people they, they be sleeping on like all the, the henny. Everybody yeah. gonna graduate to like. Everybody like, wanna sip tequila. Now y'all now y'all Mexican, bro. Now niggas sipping Casamigos every day. You feel me? Yeah. Me, I'm cool with some henny. I'm yeah. taking henny to the head. You feel me? I'm still I'm still a dark boy. I'm still gonna fuck with the henny. Fuck with the henny. Yeah, yeah, dark liquor give me turn. I don't like light liquor like that. I feel like it can give you like a different mood. Yeah, light liquor make me like I don't know. That shit make me feel weird. Like I don't know. Light liquor, dark liquor make me turn and get active. Yeah. Light liquor make me on some, I gotta be with a female or some shit. That's some horny shit. Yeah, light, light liquor. liquor. Like, <laughs> I'm not about to drink no light liquor. <laughs> I'm not about to drink no light liquor. I ain't gonna lie. Like, motherfucker be fucking with the answer, damn that shit. I ain't fucking with none of that. That shit gonna make me throw up. Yeah. I ain't fucking with it. I like vodka though. I like, I like tequila. You like and vodka shit. Yeah, I do, but I prefer it. Like, so, like, outside of making music, like, what you a drinker or smoker? I'm a drinker. You drinker. But okay. I had to chill because I almost fucked up my kidney. I was sipping too much. I ain't even talking about liquor. I was sipping too much drink. I used to sip too much lean. Yeah. Feel me? I was addicted to that shit. I ain't gonna lie, that shit fucked me up. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. You over the addiction now? Yeah, I don't okay. sip that yeah, shit that's like good. that. Mm. That's good. Like, people's like, why do you be acting like that? Like, bitch, I be hot. Why do you act so great? I used to be hot. Like, I was hot. And when you fry, like, off of, off of lean, you just. You on all bullshit. Like, yeah. You not ever looking, paying attention to what you got going on. Like the nigga that got shot at when I was high before all that yeah. shit. I didn't even know what was going on. And speaking of that, like that situation, how you end up getting shot? Like fucking man, let me think about that shit. Shit, it was a big ass party. It was in my hood. It was in, it was in packing shit. Shit was dark as hell. Shit was lit for real. I ain't gonna lie. It was. It was everybody was outside. It was yeah. summertime type shit. Summertime vibes, like feel me on with the homies and shit. Niggas chilling. I went to one party earlier that day. It was hella ops there and shit. But they was like, feel me, some some bitch ass niggas beefing them at the time. The second party ain't really had no ops like that. Yeah. It was just niggas from OT and shit there. But you feel me? It was other niggas from my hood that didn't fuck with niggas. So yeah. you, know, you know how shit go. Like tension. Yeah, it was tension. Yeah. So one nigga from my hood, you feel me, pop my nigga. <laughs> He popped in the nigga like with no like like feel me was everybody was bobbing with the bitches like I ain't gonna lie, it was hella bitches there. Everybody bobbing with the bitches. And the nigga, I guess, walked up to him like, oh shit, you remember some shit that happened in PC? Some weird shit. Or you was in or we was in jail together and you remember what happened, y'all niggas da 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 da. That's all I heard. Then he just popped his ass. Boom. Some weird shit they had going on. I don't know what them niggas was talking about. When he popped on the guy, they probably was fighting in jail or some shit. He was like, you a bitch, you was in PC, da 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 And he said some weird shit like that and just popped in the guy's ass right in front of me though. I'm drunk as hell. Popped in the guy's ass. And next thing you know, gunshots going on everywhere in the party. And me, I'm like, damn, I'm trying to get loose. All right. 
get to the backyard. I get to the backyard, nigga up in my face. I'm thinking, nigga, about let me go. Mm -hmm. you know, bitch, I'm drunk as hell. I'm leaning, bitch. I'm like, bitch, you about let me walk off? Bitch, I'm gonna walk off, bitch. Like, you got glizzy in my face. Like, bitch, I'm like, I'm like, all right, you let Cause he bought, he paused. He didn't really just start booking me. You know, he could've wet me up. Yeah. He could've really wet me. Cause when he up on niggas, it was me and two other people too. Everybody stopped in their tracks. Like, we all like, type shit. And he was like, hey, yeah, nigga, he was bitching. Like, I should've cooked y'all niggas, nigga. Feel me? Or whatever he was saying, like, me being drunk, I'm like, I'm about to run. Fuck it. <laughs> Feel me? But I didn't. I was really drunk as hell. So then he was, he did, he took two on the up. Them niggas took off. The two niggas on the side took off. Boom. So me, I'm done. You always left you? Yeah, them niggas dipped off. But my homie, he started throwing that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Free bro and shit. I ain't gonna say his name. He dipped off and shit. He started throwing that shit. Boom, boom. He's shooting at everybody. So let me. The nigga still up on me though. I don't know why he ain't shoot the nigga. You feel me? Yeah. So I don't know wherever he went. I just know he was throwing that shit because he feel me. He wanted to go grab that shit anyway. But I heard that shit. He got a big ass forty. And I know what a forty sound like. That shit start going off. But he they had other niggas like the niggas that was out there or whatever. So, bitch, I turn around. I start taking off on some dumb shit. I'm the last nigga to take off. I just start taking off. The nigga shooting. I'm just dipping them shits, dodging them shit. I'm just hitting the gate in front of me. My dumb ass turned. I should have really just jumped over the gate, but bitch, I ain't gonna get hit in my back on some weird shit. Yeah. Feel me be fucked up for life. You feel me on the wheelchair? I'd have been salty as hell. So me, I turned, and when I turned, I started running. Shit hit me in my head, right in my thigh. Boom. I'm thinking I got hit with some big shit. I stop in the backyard. I look over. I just pop that shit out on some drunk shit. Yeah. Yeah. It was like in my thigh. I'm like, oh shit, bro. Like yeah, you hit. I said, fuck that shit. I put my pants down. I just popped that shit out, shit was nasty as hell. I popped that shit out. Mm. It was a low ass bullet. It was a Deuce 5 bullet or a 38. I don't know. Bullet was little as hell. So I'm like, oh, these niggas shot me. I was like, oh shit. But I just started laughing about it and shit. Like, I was drunk. My people got put me in the wheel, took me to the hospital. I'm just laughing about the low ass bullet. I wasn't worried about that shit. Was you back like walking the next day? Yeah, I was outside the next day. Oh, okay, okay. I was right back outside. I was on English, y'all. I was mad as hell. I was touching every day. I wanted to just shoot somebody for no reason. Like, I was angry as hell. I was just like, fuck that shit, dog. That shit just me wanting to be outside. I'm supposed to be getting some pussy. Bro, I had a bad bitch with a fat ass, like, waiting for me, bro. I already was fucking her from the day before, bro. I was supposed to go to her crib. She called me right before I went to the party. Mary, bring your ass. I'm like, yeah, I'm coming. The homies want to go to one more party. I'm coming up. Mary, bring your ass. I hang up. Hop us, we getting some pussy. <laughs> I want to be outside. Yeah. Dumb ass got shot. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's it. A female want to save you every time. Hell yeah, yeah, they be knowing. Oh wow, you might just go with the pussy all every time. Any nigga listening to this show, just go with the pussy, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The pussy might save me, bro. She hauled me. She said, Mary, bring your ass. I never broke my ass. <laughs> yeah. Got a bullet in my fucking leg. Yeah. You feel me? Weird shit, but I ain't gonna lie, I called her the next day and shit, I got some pussy, I was happy and shit. I said, yeah, we got shot. She like, oh my God, man, you got shot? You know how bitches is. You got shot? Oh my God, come over. <laughs> you know me, ain't shit wrong with me. I'm limping in the crib, ain't shit wrong with my leg. Yeah, them niggas hit me with some shit. <laughs> I'm over here capping like, them niggas hit me with some shit, babe. Like, they fucked me up. But you know, I was outside and shit. Yeah. You know, I'm talking my shit like, yeah, them niggas pussy. Like, you feel me? She's like, oh, yeah, you know, she started gobbling. Like, from the rip, beating the dick up. <laughs> you feel me? I was good. The next day, you feel me? I felt good. My leg back in motion. I'm back outside. You feel me? Got my shit chewed up. Like, I was good. Like, that shit was funny as hell. I was over there capping just before me because I knew she was gonna start going crazy. Like, yeah, he is. That's sympathy. Yeah, I wound up getting the pussy anyway. You feel me? I was straight. You feel me? But that shit, that shit goes to show that I should have went with her. You feel me? Yeah, I, yeah. Like, I wanted to be outside. Dumb shit. That's how I got shot for shit. Dumb shit. Just being outside type shit. I always was outside. And when I was doing my research, I had seen an interview where somebody was saying, like, you had took a picture with the person that shot you or some shit like that. Fuck no. Nah. Fuck okay. no. Can't find one picture on the internet with us. In my life. Yeah. <laughs> Were y'all beefing after that or that shit was just like, just uh, what it was? I ain't gonna lie, like, I don't even know who shot me. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't gonna smoke. Yeah. You feel me? I don't even give a fuck. At the end of the day, that shit had nothing to do with me. Yeah. When niggas started shooting and the party got shot up, that shit had nothing to do with me. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I ain't even care about that shit. 
Bullet was little as hell. Shit popped out my leg. <laughs> I ain't give a fuck. Yeah. Anybody else get shot? Like, anybody pass Larry that you, you, you was on Yeah, hella niggas got shot. It was like crossfires. Niggas were just yeah. shooting. I told you my man free bro. He, bitch, he started going, throwing that shit. My man was from Trent. He from, he from the cram. He started throwing that shit at niggas. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna say his name on here, but that's bad. But he from the cram. He was throwing that shit. He used to always scream me from the cram. But bitch, he was throwing that shit. A couple niggas got shot. A lot of niggas got shot, but it wasn't no life threatening situation. Yeah. But hell, the niggas got shot that night on some crossfire shit. On some crossfire shit, okay. Yeah. Niggas was wild, but this shit was a crazy night. So, like, does Willem Bro like get active? It depends on who you are. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Like, it depends on who you are. Willem Bro yeah. is not like Chicago, yeah. it's not like Train. It's really on some Atlanta shit. Everybody be in the crib, or everybody post up at a crib, or yeah. everybody post up at a store. Like nobody chilling. It's like nobody, nobody chilling chillin on the blocks or nothing. Okay. You feel me? But it's like it's like some Atlanta shit. Like I can't explain it. Like niggas will post up in front of their crib, be in their driveway. Niggas will be you feel me? Niggas will be at the store. Yeah. You feel me? You only gonna, you only gonna catch a nigga at a store. Like a nigga catch it up, or a nigga catch a nigga loafing, or a nigga die, or a nigga get cooked. A nigga cook a nigga at a store, like, or yeah. a nigga cook a nigga just loafing on one of them lanes. It's dark as shit out there at night. It's woods. Like, it's dark as shit. Nobody can see nothing. It's like, if a nigga get caught out there, though, it's some shit, like, on some dark ass shit. Like, everybody that get caught out there, they be on some, like, I lost four homies out there to play, like, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. It's not like that, but it's, it's who you is. It's, it's who about you who is. you is. Yeah. Niggas got shit going on. Yeah. Niggas did a lot of grimy shit to niggas. A lot of niggas got cooked, you feel me? Yeah. So it's like who you are, like it's never about it's never like damn I'm in like when I'm in Philly, like when I'm in the bitty, I'm in the bitty like a nigga get cooked just by walking down the street or a nigga I could just walk down the street and see a nigga a shootout or anything yeah. can happen, you feel me? Cause that's the city. Yeah. It's more city like. Like people not dying like Yeah, people not dying rapidly. Rapidly, yeah. A nigga dying like three times nigga die like three times in bro, four times a year. A year, okay. You feel me? But it be like a nigga, but it be fucked up because it be like a nigga I know. Yeah. You feel me? It be fucked up. Like, like my boy Chris Kirk. Lifestyle. Yeah, recipes my boy Chris. Like, he just died. Like, yeah. on some nut shit. Like, recipes my boy Val Chop. He died by gunplay. Recipes Evan. He died by gunplay. And I knew all these niggas since 12 yeah. year plus. So these plus. niggas 12 year plus niggas. You feel me? So I said it depends on who you are. Who you is. Okay. You I me? seen like a status, like, what, last week, two weeks ago? Everybody, I seen like everybody from like different parts of Jersey sharing like Jersey City, Newark. It was just Camden. The status was like Burlington, Burlington, Burlington niggas, city niggas. City niggas is like most feared in, in New Jersey. Burlington city niggas the most feared in New Jersey. <laughs> Sorry, no, we stop chilling. Hey yo, no, that shit out of pocket, dog. I ain't gonna lie, like. I ain't gonna lie, I'm from, the, I'm from the county. I go out for niggas. I fuck with certain niggas in city life. Yeah. Niggas stand on living. I fuck with certain niggas. You feel me? But I ain't gonna say like they're the most savage in New Jersey. Fuck no. Anybody can get cooked. Yeah. Shit, not a game. Anybody can die. You feel me? Like, and especially like, it's not fucking with no cities. Like, yeah. it's a major city. Like, they will cook niggas. Yeah. It's probably like 14, 15 niggas out there. In a the city, it's fucking 300 young boys. From one hood that will cook niggas, yeah. probably two hundred <laughs> niggas. It be sixteen niggas in front of one crib in the city. <laughs> Down there is just one neighborhood full of sixteen niggas. Yeah. Niggas will get cooked. <laughs> I fuck with niggas like, like I'm just keeping it up being like, nigga, yeah, I fuck with, like you gotta think about it, like Camden, <laughs> North, Trenton. That shit is a whole different atmosphere. atmosphere you gotta yeah. wash your body. Yeah. You gotta go outside and really, bitch. Yeah. You feel me? Newark. You gotta go outside and really like look around. Like just like when I'm in a bitty, just like me in that Philly, like you gotta look around, you gotta Pay watch attention. Your, you gotta yeah. watch your surroundings, literally. Yeah. Niggas can get hit by a straight bullet. It don't got nothing to do That's with true. you. Yeah. I mean it's not like that out there. It's not busting. You feel yeah. me? But niggas do stand on business out there. I yeah. do know niggas that's thorough as shit out there. Like I know niggas that really, you feel me? Yeah, fuck the ops, like, you feel me? Fuck a couple niggas, like you feel me? I know niggas that's on that, you feel me, but yeah. Fuck the opposite. I don't fuck with a lot of niggas, you feel me? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I feel like, I mean, like, seeing, like, your post, like, I feel like you're more, like, to yourself. Hell yeah. I don't hang with niggas no more, like. Yeah. I used to hang with everybody. Like, I used to fuck with everybody. I had fuck with niggas, like, I had a, um, my group was called More Money and shit. Okay. We're not together no more, you feel me? We all went together and shit. I was doing the rap shit back in the day, niggas did dick riding. Yeah. We had a wig, you feel me? But niggas start acting like other niggas, you feel me? Yeah. Niggas wanna be somebody so bad, you feel me? I can't fuck with that, you feel me? I'm myself. 
I ain't the toughest nigga, I ain't gonna act like the toughest nigga, but these niggas gonna go out here, throw a ski mask on, don't got no ops. Yeah. I'm confused. These niggas gonna go out here and act like they got a hood, but it's a crib. I be confused, bro. Right. Feel like a lot of pump faking going on? Yes, bro. Like, these niggas be out here wildin', bro. Like, I don't respect none of that shit, bro. Like, you gonna stand on business, stand on business. You don't gotta brag about that shit or nothing. Yeah. These niggas wanna be somebody, guys. Like, I, don't, I ain't fucking with that. I don't get jiggy with that. Yeah. I ain't the type of nigga I wanna be by myself. I'd rather be by myself than to be with a hundred niggas. Right. And I'm gonna rock out by myself. Cause ain't no nut shit happen to me. Ain't no nigga ever wild out on me and do me, do me dirty, like, you feel me? Ain't no nigga ever, ever put their hands on me, like, so I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping, like, no nigga ever put their hands on me, like, or some weird shit, like, nobody ever walked up on me and tried to kill me, bitch. <laughs> or tried to do something to me, like, I ain't really tripping. I'm real. I'm thorough, like, everybody fuck with me. If you don't fuck with me, you know why. Mm -hmm. I probably threw that shit at you. <laughs> and if I threw that shit at you, I don't even care. <laughs> Them niggas know, like. I don't got no facade, like, my ops is my ops. I threw that shit at them niggas. They know I threw that shit. They see me, they mic'd up, bitch, because I'm on that. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bitch. And if they, if they catch me left loafing, they better do me. Straight like that. I don't really be worried about niggas, though. Like, yeah. how I look at that shit is, the niggas I used to fuck with, they fucking with niggas that we, don't fuck, that, that we never fuck with. Yeah. So I cut them niggas off. Your yeah. yeah, so I cut them niggas off. Everybody be wondering why I don't fuck with them niggas. That's the real reason. Niggas fuck with niggas I don't fuck with. Like, really? It's like confusing. Like I moved to Atlanta for two years. I ain't gonna lie. Boom, I had to do some music shit. I'm making music with my man, running it up in the trap out there. I was living in Midtown, downtown. Feel me? Running it up in the trap. Trap booming. Feel me? We got that shit jumping. Bro, it's from Burrow too. We got that shit trolling. Feel me? This shit was, we made a lot of money out there. I come back. Feel me? Shit, I got booked and shit in Atlanta. I ain't gonna lie. I was in Fulton County when Gunner was in there. That shit was. Long my shit with country ass niggas, I was locked up. <laughs> my first time behind the wall, bro, I was mad as shit. Why I get locked up in Georgia, bro? In Fulton County, bro? Like, I was mad as shit. That's anywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean, bro? I was irritated, bro. That's anywhere. Them niggas country in there. I'm yeah, mad. Anybody shit. from Jersey in there? Or they just no, it was, I was the only Philly I was the only nigga, Jersey. Nah, no, I was the only nigga from this side out there, bro. Yeah. Wasn't nobody. Everybody was country as shit, bro. Like on some weird shit. Niggas out there stabbing niggas for fucking chips and all weird shit. Niggas <laughs> dirty as shit in there, bro. I'm mad as shit in the Like, why am I out here in this country ass place getting locked up, bro? Like, I was confused, bro. I had to pay three thousand for bail, bro. I was just, I was mad as shit. I had to pay four thousand for my apartment, bro. I was mad as shit, bro. I was just spending money, bro. <laughs> shit had me T I spent ten bands in one week, cause I wanted to get locked up, you feel me? Shit was blowing my shit, but like when I came back, hold, 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 let me get down to the point. When I came back to um this side of shit, I come back and shit to Jersey, my niggas fucking with ops, you feel me? Now I can't fuck with that, you feel me? Yeah. So fuck them niggas. Is it like, can y'all talk it out or is it just like. Yeah, we can talk it out, yeah. but niggas don't want to be the bigger person. You feel me? Niggas don't want to be real man. I'm a yeah. man, bro. I'm a grown ass man, bro. I'm if not they came to you, like, let's talk it out. You can squash that yeah, shit. Would, yeah, I would talk it out. Yeah. I would, bro. I ain't know where to, bro. Yeah. But it's just that I'm really on some fucking shit now. You feel me? Cause we, like we grown, bro. Yeah. Your friends, your friends is your friends. Your nigga that you locked in is who you locked in with. You grown. You don't gotta tell niggas what they supposed to be doing or what yeah. they not. You feel me? That's weird. Yeah. I'm not about to be like tell a grown ass man like, bro, don't hang with them niggas, bro. That's weird. I feel like a little kid again. I'm not doing yeah. that. But it's like, bro, we had real smoke with niggas. Why are you hanging with niggas, bro? I'm confused. If like niggas had their life on the line in certain situations, like. <laughs> Bro, why are you hanging with niggas, bro? I can't even get into too much detail, but like, niggas really was going through it with niggas, like, on some real shit, like, yeah. that shit was really busting. So, why is niggas hanging with niggas, you feel me? That's why I really, I'm big on loyalty, so I ain't yeah. fuck with that. I had to cut niggas off. Fuck with niggas, you feel me? But other than that, I feel like. You still, like, rock with certain people, like the Brothers to come, or you more like, so, like, just fucking like, what's your, like, yeah. Philly homies? I fuck with people in Brother County. I can't never not fuck with my niggas in Brother County. I got young niggas in Brother County that feel me, look up to me. I got young niggas that I really f am locked in with. Like, I fuck with a couple of niggas. Like, and I got day ones out there, you feel me, that I really fuck with. So, I gotta stay locked in with niggas. Yeah, Cause this is this my source. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, my videos wasn't getting no buzz when I was like in Atlanta and shit. Like, yeah. So that's how I look at it. I gotta be home to really turn up. Turn you feel up, me? Yeah. They gotta see me. I feel like a lot of people, they try to go to Atlanta with their music. <laughs> that shit don't work. It don't work. Sometimes it work for people, but I feel like it work for people that's like from Atlanta. And you gotta be some gifted nigga. Like, yeah. you gotta be like a, um, 
a fucking R and B singer or some yeah. shit. <laughs> I feel like your sound is like a sound like that could come from Atlanta. Yeah. Like yeah. You, you got your own sound like mm-hmm. like I said, you sound like you from like you know from Jersey, but you know what I mean? Like you got the sound of like niggas a little bit like from Atlanta with, with, with yeah. fuck with, you know what like I mean? Like the type of wave I be doing. Yeah. yeah. Cause I can switch it up, like my hooks be different, bro. I be yeah. on some different shit, like. And then like your energy, you know a lot of niggas out there that have mad energy and shit like that, like they swag, everything is different. Hell yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, like, I was fucking with Atlanta though, like, that's a good place to be at, like, but you gotta be there when you rich already, type shit. Yeah. But far as though, like, all that Brunton County shit, like, I feel like Brunton County is like, it could be lit, that shit can be a lit place, yeah. but everybody be trying too hard to be like another place. You feel me? It's already a Philly. It's already a fucking, yeah. it's already a trend, bro. It's already a nerd. It's already all that shit. Niggas gotta be they self, bro. <laughs> That's all we gotta do, like. Niggas wanna be this nigga, that nigga, and this nigga, bro. We just gotta be ourselves, bro. We, that's why I make up my own type ways. Like, my flow, I used to rap fast as hell, like. I ain't gonna lie, I switched my whole flow up, like. I used to rap fast as hell on some, like, on some different shit, like. I ain't gonna lie, like. Niggas used to rap fast, but I knew niggas wasn't fucking with that because you can't really. Like, my old head, like, when I was affiliate and shit, she was telling me and shit, like, she like, yo, I don't like when you rapping fast, so I really can't understand shit you saying. Yeah. So, me, I made up a whole new flow and slowed that shit down. I was too far ahead. I slowed that shit down. So, when I slowed that shit down, it made that shit, like, way better type shit. Okay. Yeah. I slowed that shit down. I better go listen to More Money Volume, volume 2. That's the one. That's the one? Yeah. You gonna do a volume 4 or you gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna do a volume 4. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably do 8 of them shit. Well, when you plan on like dropping some um, music? Um, Next month. Next month? Yeah, I'm dropping the album. Album, okay. Yeah, I've been working on that shit. Shit's going crazy. What's the name of the album? Shit gonna be called um, Give Me My Flowers. Give Me My Flowers, okay. Yeah. And speaking of like getting your flowers, you feel like being like one of like for me, checking your numbers on YouTube, I feel like, looks like you got like the most views in Brunson County. Yeah, yeah. I do. You don't like fucking with me, all right? You think you got your flower for that? No. no. Niggas don't fuck with me because like, I'm beefing with it. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I'm black boy out here. Like, I'll really be on and niggas like, ain't be on my dick so bad. Yeah. Like, nigga turn my music on. I don't fuck with that nigga turn that shit up. That shit weird, bro. Like, what? I don't know, niggas be on hating shit. I probably fuck the nigga bitch, bro. I probably fuck the nigga cousin or some weird shit. You feel yeah. me? A nigga don't like me. Don't like I don't even be knowing these niggas, bro. I don't even, I hate when I don't know a nigga and a nigga don't like me, bro. Yeah. I don't know you, cuz. Like, what the fuck? You see some like, it be weird. Like, I even feel like niggas just be hating, bro. I don't know. Yeah, like, like, you know how people just don't like you for no reason? Yeah. That's the type of time niggas be on, like. But, like, when did, like, you feel like, when did the love change? Like a lot of your old videos, like I said, you getting a view, so they just couldn't watch you. The love changed when I fucking I lost my IG. Okay, you lost your. Instagram. I had a little deal. I had a good ass management deal with Louis Knows. He shoot videos for NBA Youngboy. Oh, okay, yeah, that's hard. Yeah, I had a good management. He tried to chop out the. Uh, he tried to chop out the park. Chop out yeah. the park, okay. Shit was crazy, camera crazy. That nigga went crazy. And like uh, you know, like if you ever watch NBA Youngboy videos when he did that little step and shit, and Steve was lighting up yeah. doing that dance. He was practicing all that shit on me. Like, you got my old video, yeah. I got four videos on him. He practiced all that shit on me. And he took off. He's from like, Jersey or? No, he's from Los Angeles. They okay. Just, they just Wait, he yeah, came out to Jersey to shoot that? Yeah, his manager was from New Jersey and was going to school for business. Okay. And he okay. discovered me and he took me to LA with them niggas. Okay. Once we went to LA, we was just lit. I ain't gonna lie, I had a fucking condo on the Walk of Fame, bro. And how old was you at this time? 19. 18. 19, okay, yeah. so you're 19, living it up. Living it up, bro. Yeah. I wake up fucking 4 a.m. in Cali, bro, on the Walk of Fame. I walk outside to the street right next to me, bro. It's a whole fucking outside day party. Yeah. Shit was lit. Like, I go outside, I'm literally drunk as hell. I just look over, it's a whole party. Bro, that shit was jumping out there. I ain't gonna lie. I love Cali. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. But what fucked me up, though, I know what fucked my fans up, too, because I was on the road. I was fucking with them niggas. And then they wasn't telling me about my money. Like, Chat by the Park was accumulating like, a lot of views and streams. The nigga wasn't telling me how much. Yeah. That shit was crazy. I had a 100k stream on fucking iTunes before niggas was doing that. Yeah. That was how like, many streams you feel like you got on? Cause I, I feel like you got a lot of streams on SoundCloud. Like. I probably oh all together I probably got like eight million. Eight million. million. Yes, yeah. that's hard. 
Yeah, you know, I just yeah. that's why I still drop on something yeah. every day. I want to get that shit going. Like, make that shit big as possible. Do so you feel like you have like a big impact on like the Burlington County music scene? Like yeah, I do. Through like the 2015 I do. love era. Okay. I'm the reason everybody rapping out there. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of niggas. Niggas won't admit it, but I'm the reason I started this shit, bro. I started the whole wave. I'm the reason niggas t told their mans to come get a camera and make a video for them. I'm the reason niggas started rapping, bro. Nobody was rapping. <laughs> Nobody wanted to be a rapper. Until I started taking off. They're like, oh, that nigga could do it. I could do it type shit. Yeah. So I fuck with that, though. I ain't gonna hate it. I want everybody once. You motivate a lot of people. Yeah, once I did that, everybody started doing that shit. I was fucking with it, though. Like, you got niggas from permanent. I was going at it with the permanent niggas. Like, they'll drop, right? The permanent niggas are drop. It was like a group. It was called GBM. Them niggas are drop. They get like 60K. Boom, in like a week. You feel me? We all young niggas, though. I drop. Damn, I got 90K. So now I'm talking shit on the book. I'm like, y'all niggas, hey, y'all not yeah. fucking with y'all group. Fuck out of here. It's just me by myself. I'm going crazy. So we'd be like competitive with this shit, dropping back to back to back to back. So it was like, niggas was going crazy. I don't know. We was competitive, though. That's how that shit was. You ever like do features with like other people from around the town? Yeah, but no. 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 I ain't gonna lie, nobody from Brother County really opened my eyes yet. Like I did features with my homie like when I was cool with Tees and niggas like that, you feel yeah. me? But I don't fuck with Brother Moore, so but when I was fucking with niggas, I was doing beds with niggas and shit. Like I was doing music with that nigga. That's probably the only nigga I got featured with. Yeah, music with okay. But as far as though nigga from Brother County, I ain't never heard nobody that's worth it. Alright. It's not worth it. Yeah. Nobody really doing that. Like everybody sound like a Philly nigga or some shit. Or yeah. they flow off. Like I can't fuck with that. I ain't gonna hop on the song with you and this shit just for nothing. Feel me? I can't do that. I ain't gonna lie. I just can't do that shit. I wanna work with niggas though. That's the crazy part. I really wanna work with niggas from Brother Town. I wanna have that shit lit this summer. Yeah. Like, I'm back out here. Shit lit. Uh, how do you feel like you're gonna be able to like get your, your fan base back to where you want it? Like your views, like the numbers on your videos, the new count, everything. Like how do you feel like you're I mean, gonna get back to where you? I gotta start. With it. I gotta start vibing with my fans more. Mm -hmm. Like when I was talking to you about that shit, like, I gotta start interacting more. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I gotta artists, start. They forget that a lot of artists they just focus on dropping the music. You mm -hmm. gotta do promotion, especially interacting with the fans. I gotta start, but like, I gotta start interacting with them more. Like, I mean, even if it's a freestyle video and I'm yeah. walking shit down, I'll be walking shit down, so I don't give a fuck. Yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie. Shout out your new grandma for the people. Um, my new Instagram is, is Meritrus, M I R T R I L L Z. Did you ever try to get your old Instagram back? or? I tried. They didn't want me to get it back. Yeah. I don't know why, but then they, that's why I, my name was Meritrus on there. But they finally deleted the account and then let me use their name again. Okay, so, so that's yeah. good. So mm -hmm. people can be able to find you. So they can fuck with me like. And like, like talking about like the music, like describe like a day for us like in the studio. I mean, in the lab with me, I do everything off the head. Okay. Everything come off the top. I be just walking shit. I don't even got no picks. Like I just go in the studio. I get in my bag. I probably sip some liquor, smoke some za. You feel me? Have bro in where I have I have a fever. Like I ain't gonna lie, most of my nights, all my mixtapes when I was recording them, I when I was recording them in Atlanta, like two of the tapes I did in Atlanta, I just had my shorty in there, like the okay. bitch I was fucking with, like she just was sitting on my lap and just recording drunk as hell. Yeah. Um, bro, she just sitting there like just listening to me falling asleep. She falling asleep and everything. I'm just locked in yeah. from fucking probably like a 12 p.m. to like four in the morning. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I got like 90 in the vault, like 100 songs in the vault. Yeah, did you still never drop or that's, that's on release? You still got more on release? Yeah, I got more on release. Man, my shit just be ringing, like niggas just be calling me like on some weird shit. But no, I got on release, like, yeah. I got I got mad shit coming out, like, I ain't gonna lie. I got so many songs, I be thinking they ass, but they probably really hard. Yeah. Like I ain't gonna lie, like, the fans inside. Yeah, every time I drop and the fans inside, I be like, oh yeah, they fucking with me. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I got so much shit like in the cut that's crazy, like, like I ain't gonna lie. And like nowadays, like how, how often you go into the studio? I got my own studio, so I record almost every day. Okay, so you record yourself? Yeah, I record myself. I don't really be trying to fuck with like. Like, I ain't gonna lie, tomorrow I'm about to lock in with the Philly niggas and shit. I'm about to go record with niggas and shit. I'll probably vlog that shit. Okay. So. Who you locking in with? 
Um, my Okay. Yeah, me yeah, and bro about to like, lock in. We yeah. about to remix some shit. We about to go crazy. Okay, well, what song y'all remixing? Um, we remixing um. I'm about to I'm about to die. The shit, the shot, um, the live performance I did. Okay. Yeah, you know, shit, I got the more views. Yeah. I see you been uh, like dropping a few of the live performances. Yeah, that's what they been fucking with. Like yeah. every time I drop one, they get 10k plus or 20k plus. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck it, I can't stop doing that. That's more exposure for me. And I seen like other like Jersey artists like from different parts of, like Jersey like tapping in with you like you tapped in. Like what? Who, like who? Who would you say like you tapped in with like Jersey wise? I'm tapped in with. Jersey wise, I'm tapped in with a lot of niggas. Like I'm tapped in with like um, SD. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, I've been fucking with bro. Like okay. every time I started rapping, bro, I've been fucking with me. Like he be telling me about how to do certain shit. Like I mean, we both been dropping probably around the same time. Yeah. I mean, Is he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was making the music. Yeah, he been making music like, like 15, yeah. Yeah. and now I've been making music, so he be fucking with me. Like he be fucking with me, and um, who else are you fucking with? You fucking with Skino? Okay. Fucking um, who else are you fucking with? Uh, that's a lot of niggas I be fucking with. Uh, fucking, I be fucking with a lot of niggas. I really got a nigga from the county too. There's a couple niggas I forget because I ain't been out here in so long. Like, there's a couple niggas in the county I did songs with, like, fucking, um, um, nigga, um, Naps, um, Nas, um, couple niggas. I don't really be fucking with niggas though. Like that much songs with niggas, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Only niggas I really been fucking with is OT niggas for real. Yeah, so we can see you doing something like OT, like maybe like SD or anyone like in the future this year? Um, uh, fucking. Yeah, a lot of niggas. Like, I'm gonna work with a lot of niggas, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I've been supposed to get a feature from niggas like fucking Skino, niggas that's from around the area and shit. Like, niggas that really is doing this shit for real. Yeah. But I don't be tapping in with me for real. I be on some, I be on some solo shit for real. I don't know why. Like, there's a couple of niggas from Camden no fucking with too though. JP eleven hundred. Yeah, yeah, I did interview him. You fuck with him? Yeah. Yeah, JP eleven hundred. Um, fucking um, damn, I'm forget all my Camden. I know they gonna be child. They gonna like, oh, you on some weird shit. Oh, I really be wanting to look at my phone. Like, you actually yeah, you know, shout everybody out. Yeah, JP, I'm fucking with JP eleven hundred. And um, it's another nigga I'm fucking with too. I'm supposed to do a song with. So I, just, I be forgetting niggas' names though. But shout out JP Eleven Hundred, that's my boy. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. yeah. I feel like with the like the South Jersey music scene, I see like a lot of more artists have been like dropping music. I feel like it just more artists gotta come together like in the South Jersey. Yeah. Everybody. Nobody in South Jersey really fuck with each other. Yeah. It's shit. It's crazy like. And then everybody trying to go up on their own. Yeah. Nobody. Nobody fuck with nobody. Nobody in South Jersey fuck with each other. That's why I really, I really gotta start. I'm, I'm about to lock in with a lot of niggas from Camden. I ain't gonna lie. Camden rappers, they been walking shit. Hell yeah. When did you end up getting your face tag? And how old were you? I ain't gonna lie. When I got my face tag, I got this one when I probably was like, I got this shit, this dumb ass shit. I got that shit. <laughs> I got that shit when I was like um, 16. 16? On some weird shit. When I posted it on Facebook, everybody was jelling off of me. I ain't gonna lie. He like, you look dumb as hell. But I'm like, it's on me. You, you got that when you was in high school? Yeah, I had that shit like my junior year in high school. Okay. What, did I get? Did, what, what did your teacher say when they saw it? I mean, I looked at weird as shit. I was the only nigga in class. I yeah. Had a big ass red mark on my cheek and shit. That shit was when it was fresh, it was bright red and shit. I was looking dumb as shit. <laughs> I'm in class, I'm in class just looking at niggas, niggas looking at me like, what oh, this nigga stupid as hell? I'm just like, fuck it. You like the first person with the face tat? Around like, my way? Around, around your way, like at that age? Yeah. Okay. For real, for real. Nobody had a face tat for real. Are they coming out there or? No. 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 Yeah, so. Like, no. Maybe we're gonna get a face tat. Like, niggas just started, like, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of niggas start getting face tats afterwards, like when niggas got older. Yeah. I been having my shit though. You regret uh, it? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Cause when I go somewhere, 
But that's why I always wear hats. I ain't gonna lie. I always got a hat on because now, because like, every time I go somewhere, I be around white people or I walk in any store, like they looking at me like this. I'm like, just stick that yeah. shit up. Yeah. Um, bro, and I got this shit on my head. I got 360 on my arm, on the top of my head and shit. So when I be walking in the store and shit, they be like looking at me weird. Like, or when I, you feel me? I can't even get a job. You feel me? Don't touch your face. Like, you feel me? That yeah, shit weird. Older, like, realize, yeah, like, like, I can't even get it. Like, right now I'm on, I got a pen and felony. Like, <laughs> I can't even burn. I'm walking for an interview. This nigga looking at me crazy, bro. Like, don't touch your face. Like, like a dick. I did some dickhead shit. I ain't gonna lie. I regret that shit. Like, but you feel me? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck a job because it's Trapper Die. And it's like, bitch, I'm gonna make it with the music shit anyway. So, I don't really yeah. give a fuck. But I got a pen and, I got a pen and felony. I was on probation. I had to get a job. When I walked in that bitch, one interview, you feel me? I walked in. The nigga was looking at me like, well, this nigga, like, he looking at me weird as hell. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, don't touch your face up. I ain't gonna lie. Unless you know what you really doing with your life. Me, I'm just living on the edge. I don't yeah. give a fuck. Like, you feel me? <laughs> but that's me. Um, like, outside of, like, this music, like, like, what's your, like, what, what's some of your goals, like, in life? Like, if, 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 I know you said, like, this is, like, gonna be, like, your last year making music, so you're gonna go harder. Uh, yeah. Or what? It's gonna be... This gonna be my last year making music, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, I'm giving everything up. I'm giving everything, I'm giving y'all everything. Like, I ain't holding nothing back. That's why I've been just working. Mm -hmm. I've been so consistent. I've been really working, recording, 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 recording. Every time somebody call me, I'm recording. Every time every time a nigga see me, like my brother wake up in the morning and a nigga see me, I'm recording. I don't never be doing nothing else. I just yeah. record. You know I, mean? I feel like that shit gonna save my life. You know I, mean? I don't got nothing else. I ain't good at nothing else. Yeah. Probably only thing I ever did was play basketball. Bitch, I ain't LeBron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. When you stop playing ball, I stopped playing ball in my freshman year because I, I went up with the rap shit. Okay. I played football. Yeah. <laughs> I played for the freshman team. I played for Willowbrook and shit. Yeah. I was going crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I was cooking niggas. I was on some shit. I was cooking niggas. I was on some shit. I was cooking niggas for real, for real though. But I ain't gonna lie. I was cooking niggas. Yeah. When you like, when you find your love for music, you say quit. You said when I found my when, love. When you find like your love for music, you quit though basketball. Yeah, I quit basketball. Okay. Cause everybody knew me. I come to school, nigga singing my song with the word. I'm like, fuck basketball. You feel me? This one I call it. Yeah. I come to school, like, I couldn't even go to class. It's nine, ten niggas behind me. I'm skipping class, nigga skipping class. You feel me? Why the fuck is you skipping class, bro? You just following me, like. And nigga like, yo, Charles, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You just drop, bro. Everybody fucking with that gun. Niggas, I'm coming out of class. Nigga, got, nigga gonna put the phone to the screen and show him my video. Like, yeah. have you cracking the fuck That's up? Gonna, right he gonna put that shit to the window while the teacher teaching. Like, yeah. I'm like, feel me? That shit was a good vibe in school. Like, and your teachers knew that you was like rapping. Hell yeah. yeah. They be like, I saw your video. You was on. Um, they said you had an AR-15 swinging. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> They're like, you had an AR-15 in your video just <laughs> in the park. I'm like, yeah. She's like, yeah, so we saw that. I'm like, yeah, I was, they was jealous about me. I'm like, yeah, you had all types of guns in your videos. Just da da da. I was like, yeah. But I've been on that, like, I've been doing that shit, so it was like, they ain't know I was on that. You know what I mean? So they used to be like, damn, you want some bullshit. Yeah. Like, seeing your personality outside of school. Yeah, they're like, yeah, you wild. I ain't gonna lie. But I had to do that shit because it was like, I was trying to make it out. Yeah. So, like, nigga, like, like I said, like, most of my life, like, I went to 15 different schools. I went to like 10 different schools in Philly and like four different schools in New Jersey. Yeah. So like I've been everywhere my whole life. I know yeah. so many people. Like that's another thing that helped me with the rap shit too. Once I start rapping, I had so much support. I had support from Philly, Jersey, yeah. everywhere. You feel me? In Atlantic City, shout out Atlantic City. They fuck with me. Shout out Atlantic City. I love Atlantic City. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't nobody never like I had a show out there. They just set my shit word for word. I always fuck yeah. with Atlantic City. I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah, and fucking shout out DJ Mikey May too. Cause he's a, he helped my career a lot too. Yeah, like, like, playing your music at the parties? And yeah, everything. every party. Yeah. That nigga was playing my shit. And every time I came through, like, we were true here. Y'all wanted to perform? Niggas started going crazy. He just like, just turned my shit on, had a performer, and had a whole party just rocking. Yeah. Like, yeah, especially or when I had somebody had booked me, and he'd be the DJ. So it'd be like, damn, that's crazy. I had to be a Sweet 16 or some shit, or be somebody party, and I got booked. For a little like four hundred dollar show or some shit like that, he'd just be like, "Yo, I already got your shit on here. You mean we about to cook up?" Yeah, that's love. Yeah, bro, right like, man, yeah, I love bro. I ain't gonna lie, I've been doing my whole life almost. Me and bro, like, shout, shout out DJ Mikey Matt. I ain't gonna lie. 
I've been fucking with. I, I ain't gonna lie, like that's. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta get Tabby locked in with more jersey artists. I ain't locked in with nobody for real. Yeah. I be bullshitting. I ain't gonna lie. It's probably my PTSD. I don't be wanting to link niggas. Yeah. But I'm linking niggas now. I ain't gonna lie. I'm just my last year rapping, so I don't give a fuck. You gotta go crazy. You gotta turn up. Like you know, do everything. Like you know, that you can do. You know. Yeah. Cause you're right though, that networking shit is everything. Like what you was telling me, you was Hell telling yeah. me that shit. He's like, I ain't gonna get nowhere if I don't network. A lot of artists, they just wanna stay in a bubble. And then like, yeah. too, like you said, like Willingboro is only <laughs> in South Jersey. It's That's just small as hell. It's small, like, with the, like, and I feel like the support is not always there. So it's like, you got networking, maybe you go to a different area, different parts of Jersey, you know? Yeah. So they can hear you all throughout Jersey. Like they know you in South Jersey, but you wanna, you know, get Newark and bigger cities in Jersey like behind you. Oh, no bullshit. I be thinking about that shit every day. I be thinking about like how I don't be networking with niggas. That shit does not help my career at all. That's why I'm not saying no to no more future. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Like, like I said, like. It makes sense for you to just go for it. Yeah, I be turning shit down. I be like, damn, this is my best song right now. I'm not about to do that song with that nigga. Fuck that shit. I be thinking I'm gonna get on on my own. And I'm like, no, that's not the way. Yeah. That's not the way. Like, I was supposed to do a song with Nia J. I'll put the remix chop out the part. I didn't do it. You know? regret not remixing it? I do. Yeah, I do. I ain't gonna lie. Like, you feel me? Because I. She was genuine. She was fucking with niggas. Yeah. I was on some weird shit. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, no, I ain't trying to do that shit. You feel me? I don't know why. But that shit was weird. I gotta start networking. Yeah. You feel me? Because I. She be on her shit now. She raw as hell. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I know you said that you gonna stop making music this year like you know if things don't go the way you want so like where do you see yourself by the end of this year like what do you want to see yourself in december i see myself like pulling up in the maybach giving my mom a, a 40 bar yeah um, bro if i ain't done that this shit over with bro i'm already burnt out yeah. i've been going so hard for too long like i'm gonna just lock in and just live like regular but i ain't gonna lie if something ignite me and spark me and i start catch a crazy buzz before the end of the year yeah. i'm gonna keep rapping i ain't gonna lie but that's my goal though. Yeah. Really pull up with my mom a 40 ball. I mean, I ain't really worried about shit else. I mean, and I got a daughter too. So I'm okay, trying to really, yeah. I'm trying to really be that nigga for her. Yeah, for your daughter, yeah. Really, really be him. So that's why I've been that's why I've been grinding so hard. I got three tapes. Y'all better go download all three of them shit, so I'm gonna smack the shit off you. Say like, nah. For <laughs> but like, nah, real shit though. Yeah. I got three tapes, we're gonna really volume one, two, and three. Fuck with me, like, I ain't gonna lie, this shit real. And for me, shout out bro to Kim. For me, y'all know I'm putting on for y'all. You feel me? Yeah. That shit for y'all. Like, shout out to everybody I'm fucking with. Shout out my Mount Holly niggas. Shout out my bro niggas. Shout out my city niggas. Shout out everybody I'm fucking with. If you don't yeah. fuck with me, suck my dick. Fuck all the ops. Y'all know who y'all are. I throw that shit at y'all. <laughs> so, and I have another question. Like, I know you said you've been making music throughout the years. And how are you able to stay motivated to keep going? Damn, I'm motivated through like the struggle, you feel me? Yeah. All my life been a struggle, like I told you, and I got kicked out, I've been homeless while I was famous, you feel me? I was clouded the fuck up, a million views on SoundCloud, like, you feel me, clouded the fuck up, like, I ain't had nowhere to live. So, I need niggas, like niggas watching this shit, make sure I'll be humble, like, you never know what niggas going through, like, you feel yeah. me? And through that whole shit, I was humble, I could be dead or in jail just because of my yeah. situation, my circumstances, I could have been mad and crashed out. But me, I always kept a steady mindset, like, damn, one day I'm gonna get out of this shit. I just gotta survive this shit. That's what it be, it be a mental game. Everything is a mental game in life, like, it's a mental game. Yeah. You feel me? You, could, you never know what's on the other side of the bridge if you never cross that shit. You feel me? And then could be, I could be mad this year, like, yo, I'm gonna quit, like, like I said, I'm gonna quit rapping after this year. I thought, man, fuck that shit. And what if I was supposed to get on in January? Damn, yeah. January coming, nigga, just, damn, damn, we heard your song and they signed me. And be like, you never know. You, yeah. you could have been a millionaire, but you just crashed, bro. Yeah. Don't crash, bro. I'm the, every, every nigga out there, you feel me? Everybody that's living this lifestyle, like, just don't crash. Like, you feel me? Whatever you do, niggas want you to crash, bro. I promise you, bro. Niggas want that shit, because if, if you crash, niggas don't got to worry about you no more. Yeah. You feel me? Your bitch going to be fucking. Niggas ain't sending you no money. You feel me? You got to know this shit going to get real cold for you. Don't crash out. That's all I was telling niggas. That's my message. That's my message for niggas before I get off this shit. Just talk my shit. Cause I like to pop my shit. You know I'm a spit a freestyle. You feel me? But I ain't gonna lie. 
Don't crash out on begging niggas, bro. Cause when you in that cell, bro, your bitch gonna be fucking, I promise you, bro. She's not waiting 10 years to get dick, bro. I promise you, bro. <laughs> I'm a human being, bro. I know how this shit go, bro. Yeah. I promise you she's not, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie, my bitch get locked up for her 10. I'm fucking bitches. I don't care. Yeah. I'm broke. Well, what will make you like what? She do the six months you waiting? I'm fucking. <laughs> She's fucking, she's not, her pussy is not gonna stay dry for six months, I promise you. <laughs> she's human. Yeah. Fuck, she horny. She's gonna fuck. She's a grown ass woman. Your bitch is gonna fuck. So if you don't, if you love your bitch, and you love, you feel me, you love your family, don't be crashing out. And look, and that, fuck that, alright, fuck. What if you don't give a fuck about your bitch or your family? You never gonna see what's gonna get better in life if you don't get to see it, bro. Yeah. You gotta survive certain shit. And get this shit like fucking walking dead, bitch, you gotta stay alive to see what's gonna happen, bitch. Shit, bro. The last question I got is, like, what's one message you want to give to everybody that's been like supporting you and showing you love? No, I ain't gonna lie. I'll fuck with y'all. I'll fuck with y'all, yo. Y'all been showing me support. I ain't gonna lie. That thirty thousand views, three thousand followers is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Three thousand followers, thirty thousand views is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all yeah. been fucking with me heavy. Y'all been showing me a lot of support, and love, and I fuck with that. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I'm still going, and I'm gonna still drop for y'all. I ain't gonna lie. This shit about to get real this year. Keep supporting me, and I'm gonna keep going hard for y'all. You feel me? This shit like you scratch my back, I scratch yours. I'm not gonna stop going crazy. Like I love all my fans. I would keep me going. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Without y'all, I ain't shit. I ain't even nothing. You feel me? So I'm fucking with y'all. I'm gonna keep going hard. I ain't gonna lie. That shit up. That shit up this year. I'm gonna be the hardest nigga in Jersey, bro. In Jersey, bro. I promise you, bro. I'm going crazy, bro. I promise you. You say you got freestyle for us. Oh yeah, you know what I say? I say, I don't take no fucking shots, I'm sipping lean right out the bottle. Merlin Mello, I'ma shoot this bitch, I'm not a Glock model. Do it big like Greg Khali? Man, these niggas hornswoggle. Disrespect my dead man's or my mother, I'ma rock you. The wax build, I had to lick it up. I'm addicted to this shit, don't need no sippy cup. My bitch so thick, she walked through, that shit be sitting up. So every time we out in public, I gotta smack her butt. I was in the county making plays, I made a stop and buck. Then I put a switchy on my blicky in case it get corrupt. Rest in peace to Black Mamba, Mellow come in clutch. Just like Nike, I just do it, I ain't gonna say too much. My lord bro always throwing shit, he think he Andrew Luck. He hopped out with a contact, I was like, what the fuck? So run down, I tracked to the sundown. Bitch, we eating steak and live, ain't no noodle for lunch now. Feel me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I fuck with that. <laughs> oh, bro. Appreciate you for coming out. Fuck with me, yo. Make sure y'all support. Appreciate Make sure y'all support AP. If y'all hating on AP, yeah. suck my dick. You're not fucking Nah, I appreciate you, gang. And like I said, let this year, like, I know you say you about to give it, like, your last run, but yeah. let this year, like, be a lesson to, like, all, everything that you've been doing, like, in the past, like, just... All the views and all the fans that you have, just go hard one last time, you know, like yeah. the next in the summer about to be here, so just Turn job it as much as you can, network as much as you can, you know, move around. Don't just stay you know, like in South Jersey, move around different parts, you know, go back to Philly, do some features. You know, Philly hot right now, so just whatever you gotta do, you know, to make your career go the way you want, just do it, you know, do it big for the last time. No, no bullshit. We're gonna turn out for real. This shit gonna be yeah, a movie yeah. for sure. I ain't gonna lie. Make sure y'all support AP. She, yeah. she, she messed up with this shit. Make sure y'all lock in. Lock in. Don't, don't waste time. Come get y'all interview. Lock in. Tell me, lock in. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate that. Alright. I'm out though, man. I'm gonna fuck with y'all. I'm gonna fuck with y'all. Make sure y'all tap in too. I got three, three takes. If y'all don't go bump them shit, suck my dick.